All right, what I want to talk about is a little bit about what type of work should you be doing or going after as a new contractor. As a new contractor, you should be going after work that you can obviously handle, right? You don't want to go after work that, you know, you're biting off more than you can chew. Uh, a lot of work that I look for when I was a new contractor in the game is... Um, Believe it or not, I went on Craigslist. Um, now, Craigslist jobs only got me so far. Because you have to realize, people that are searching for contractors on Craigslist is looking for dirt cheap pricing. So once I got to a point or a level in my business where I had insurance and, you know, like we talked about workers comp or uh, general liability, um, maybe I was looking to get bonded and things like that. Once I start having, you know, doing jobs that require me to have different types of insurance, Craigslist jobs just just didn't fit me anymore. Those wasn't my customers anymore. And you have to realize that too as well. Going after customers at a certain level, as you grow, you need to grow with your customers as well. So I went after Craigslist jobs. It was great, stayed busy. Why? Because I was given a low, low, cheap price. And also, I want to point out, during that time, I did not know how to bid. So I was underpricing my work. After, um, I, uh, after Craigslist jobs, I went after um, some uh, uh, member. The, 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 the housing market was booming then, too, as well. So I went after some developers that were building some houses, and I did a bunch of driveways, uh, just some flat work, um, did a bunch of driveways, and then I uh, started doing some curb and gutter, and then that's what piqued my interest to get in public works. So I will say this, start where, where you can, okay? A lot of us get our license, and before you know, we got subscriptions to eBay board and Planet Bids and, um, you know, uh, what's another big one um, that 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 sends out, you know, hundred to million dollar bids. Um, I forget the name of it, but we, we sign up for these, uh, these, these, you know, subscriptions to these bid places, but we're not going to bid on any of the work. So what I would say is, um, um, you know, find a, you know, whether it's Craigslist, whether it's Angie's List, um, whether it's Yelp that you're, you're, you're getting on. Um, you want to find out where those jobs are coming in at or even um, uh, Big Clerk. You know, Big Clerk was another one I bid on where I was finding uh, work that fit the size that I was at that time. Um, so look on those areas. And, and this key is learn how to do your numbers, learning your bid, because if you don't know how to do your numbers, you're going to lose every damn time. So know how to bid on the work that you're going after. Understand what covering the nut means. You have to understand what covering the nut means. So, um, um, and, and I will say Craigslist, um, uh, then graduate to, you know, working for developers and architects and e-bid board. Um, um, that's mainly like public works. But um, you want to go out, you see a developer, especially a small time developer that, that possibly doing a, uh, you know, a small commercial building, maybe a Starbucks or, um, you know, small commercial building. Stop, get, get the number, ask to be put on the bid list and uh, they'll start sending you some work too. And make sure, once again, you, you take what you can take and, and, and do the work that you can do and also grow and stretch yourself and do a little bit more too as well. But you got to go out there and have those eyes where searching for more work and, um, and, and networking and, um, and doing your numbers. That's it. That's what I did when I was uh, starting out in contractor. And some of you guys should do this and some of you guys shouldn't. But good luck to you. Remember, always hustle hard. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. See you guys soon. Thanks.